and I, nowadays people even start out thinking of uh, sports as a career did you have any sort of pushback either at home or in 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 town in chennai for example where we both grew up as far as oh he's playing chess full time at this point you know is it something that he should be doing is it something that he should be looking for school and college and a job did that come up no i was very lucky in two sense and one is my parents were very uh, open minded this and again i really feel in the 70s and 80s um that my parents were very relaxed about uh, the amount of time i was spending on chess it was very unusual um in those days whenever you spoke to somebody uh, they would say you know i i really wanted to do the sport but my father kept saying get a job so that sort of story but my parents were but i also didn't uh, make it that hard for them because the deal always unspoken was i wouldn't uh, let my studies go i'd find some way to combine it so for the 10th and 12th i would actually stop playing chess for 3 months so that i could focus on the exams and um but you know the ninth standard and the 11th i i got to travel a lot more so we adjusted a bit and um, in fact in at many moments in my career i found it very useful to study mm-hmm. by this i mean that at some point you hit a wall where you're not getting any better and you can't see why and then you spend 3 months uh, suddenly switching to your exams and then you come back and and this wall has disappeared and you start to play more freely um you can explain this in a way that you're learning concepts but you're not able to put them into piece and then you do something else for a while and then when you come back suddenly the chessboard looks a bit clearer something to that effect or maybe it's just that you're playing too much chess you're saturated and uh, you need a break and so this enforced break of school work 